Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name is Stan, and today we're going to talk about neutral loading and line loading. Uh, the photographs you're seeing are uh, a spray booth, and it's wired in left and right sections. And uh, we're, we're just running it temporarily off a generator, and uh, this gives a perfect opportunity to see how left and right halves uh, behave with a, with a common neutral. So you're going to see three lines. I'm showing you here that neutral is zero amp. My first hot leg is zero amp. My second hot leg is zero amp. I'm just using an inductive type uh, amp meter. Uh, now we're going to fire the first half of the lights. So now we've got one hot and one not. So that's uh, half an amp, a little bit of transient voltage. Here we're clocking about 19 amp. And our neutral load is uh, almost 20. So let's see what happens now. Oh, we're going to go back to this one to show you that little bit of little bit of transient voltage. That's considered voltage leak. Uh, now we're going to fire the second half. And we're going to find out what happens to that neutral. Here we got 22 on uh, one hot leg, and we got 20 on the other hot leg, or 21 on the other hot leg. Okay, let's hold it up here for a second. What do you think is going to be on this neutral? Uh, is it going to be 40? No, it's not. All the neutral is responsible for is to carry the imbalance of the load. Here you're seeing two amps of neutral load. So uh, the neutral doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get double uh, the amperage. Uh, we can run up to three on a three-phase system. We can run up to three uh, uh, circuits on one common neutral. As long as you have a well-balanced system, your neutral will not have any problems. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.